Circle of Spores Landlord. Mm. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. That's way more fun than the reality of the, what I've been experiencing. Uh, yeah, I found a bunch of mushrooms in uh, growing out of the carpet of my apartment uh, cool. yesterday. Cool, cool, it was cool, very cool, fun cool. and cool. <clears throat> um, Don't tell them that. Yeah, so we were <laughs> safe in a sanitary home. He's a, they're okay. Yeah. Those are free <laughs> mushrooms. You shouldn't have said anything. You should have harmed them and wait for the next flush. <laughs> I, f- I did find them in a mushroom database, what type of mushrooms they were, and they are mm-hmm. non-toxic. So that's cool. Carpetus oh, grossicus. Oh, free food. They do, cr- they do grow out of rotting wood, so joke's on you, landlords. Um, Yikes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, my God. We had a we had a big ha- landlord development recently where there's been a giant plant growing in front of our manual garage door, like huge, and so we've had to like rip it over this big plant every single day, and I've put in multiple <laughs> things to be like, please just remove this one weed, please, and it disappeared over the weekend. Oh wow! Oh, and now smokes. we can open our garage door, and boy, is my life better. Crazy, it's crazy. Yeah, right? Little things. I thought the you were going to stop thing. at Giant, where there's been a giant, a giant, and every time we try to go outside, he riddles us. <laughs> <laughs> Does anyone have any magic beans? Because I yeah. need to put in a maintenance request. Is he <laughs> like another tenant or <laughs> yeah. what? Because he is here a lot. And I he's great. Like, wow, he ground my neighbor <laughs> is a giant, and it's a problem. <laughs> he ground Trump. my roommate's Trump. bones to make his bread. <laughs> <laughs> oh, All God. hours of the night, fee fi fo fum this, fee fi fo fum that. <laughs> Incredible. Uh, Hi, everybody. Mm, yeah, Sunday oh, fun gay guy. Oh, that's good. That's good. I like that. There you go. Uh, welcome, everybody. This is episode 19 of Arc 5 of Better Than Heroes. We're going to play some yeah. D&D in just a few minutes. Uh, so if you are new to our stream, welcome. Hello, I am Rachel, mm-hmm. and I play Click, the level 13 crane fighter. Hey, I'm Andrew Overdahl, and I play Flute, a.k.a. the Wind Rider, a human bard warlock. Hi, I'm Jordan Dahl, and I'm back from uh, mysterious lands, and I'm my my m- body is filled with spices and strange scents from across the ocean, and I play the Moon Boy, a level thirteen <laughs> Moon Boy. Uh, my name is Aaron Uris, and I play Kai Hammerstein, the Artificer. I'm Harlan Kelly. I'm the dungeon master of this game, and I've been doing this for three years. Dang. Woo, Three right? years. What are we doing? Three years of this. I love it. Three love years it. of this. Three years of this. Deal with it. The three years of magic. <laughs> uh, we are going to play some 5E, Spelljammer, Dungeons and Dragons, sure. as we have been doing for three years. So we're pretty good at it. Uh, our show is often live soundtracked by Jason Wardell. He is not here today, so we will get Robo All Jason. Right, Jason. You may hear him in your ear holes. Um, And this show is brought to you by our patrons and our subscribers. So if you are either of those, thank you so, so much. You guys make this stream possible. You allow us to pay the artists that make it fun. Pay Jason. Pay our uh, Every Map a Story, who does our maps. Uh, Pay Jordan, who does a lot of our illustration. Pay StreamYards, who means that we can stream. (laughs) True. Uh, (laughs) <laughs> you guys make the show possible and better every single week. Uh, so thank you for your contribution. If you love the show and you want to see it grow, please consider supporting the show in that one of those ways. Or you could also join our Patreon or pick up some sweet Better Than Heroes merch on our Teespring account. Just spring now. They've dropped the tea. Did they? Oh, wow. I really? think so. Yeah. I think they're just spring because their logo is just like the so. spring. I think so. Uh, I see. Much more than teas. I see. Mm. Yeah. So much more than teas uh, on spring. You can also support the show by just telling other people that we've got a cool show. Uh, Thanks to the Reset Uncle Brenner. 36 months. That's crazy. That's all. I think. That's all the months. That's three years. The math is exactly three years. How could you do? Yeah. Yeah. Well done. Thanks, Uncle Brenner, for being with us this (laughs) whole time. Uh, 
Yeah, support the show by telling your friends about it. We appreciate everything that you do to make this show possible. Uh, Oh, also, we have a podcast. If you don't want to see our faces, which is totally understandable, you could listen to just our voices. Uh, That comes out every week. uh, And this VOD goes on YouTube as well. Uh, So thank you to everybody who's caught up. We know a couple of people are racing to try and catch up with the live shows. Really appreciate it. Thanks for watching. We had somebody else else join the Discord this week and say, like, oh, my gosh, I'm almost caught up. Like, I've been binging the episode. So it's always fun. If you were watching watching this uh, a month later or two years later or ten years later, we still are psyched that you're here and care. Yeah. So, hell we yeah. noticed. Hit us up. Tweet at us in <laughs> 10 years. and be like, what's up? I'm listening. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll put my child to bed at that point and come over and hang out. I don't have a child right now. That's the point. And so. if you're watching this yeah. in 20 years, Viva the Human Resistance. Hopefully <laughs> you find water soon, which is money now. <laughs> cool duster plug. Thanks, dude. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We're going to play some D&D in just a few minutes. But first, let's go <clears throat> to last week's recap. Mm-hmm. Previously on Better Than Heroes, in a penguin refugee camp outside the Cove of Bones, with Float awaiting rescue and Moon Boy and the rest of the camp asleep, Click and Kai spoke to the Moon Girl and requested that she call Lady Arabelle, aka Nyx, a powerful cleric, and beseech aid for the Cove's brain wormified people. Then Olifanticulus came calling, and Astral projected a tea room where he, Click, and Kai sat and talked. Olifanticulus was feeling guilty because of having modified his memory to forget his past before he discovered Kai, and then abandoning his robo-son and modifying his memory again, forgetting his son existed, which seems bad when you say it all at once. Kai assured him it was no problem, and that he wasn't one of those high-maintenance children who makes a fuss every time you miss their baseball game or forget their birthday or abandon them for a hundred years imprisoned (laughs) inside a magic workshop. (laughs) Click suggested that Oliphanticulus stop wallowing in guilt and look forward, (laughs) and they picked his brain about the lunar shard they had found, about Florial, about the Undying Queen and her Dark Star, and about uh, their other enemies and how to stop them. Back in the cove cave, morning broke like a drum and bass drop with a dissonant psionic mind flare broadcast reaching out to the party requesting a parlay. Click and Kai connected to communicate with the colony, greeted by the elder brain who suggested an alliance. The colony would spare the cove if the crew would open the way for them to travel to the astral sea to make war on the undying queen. The crew were uncomfortable with the ramifications of delivering the Illithid colony to a realm of thought beyond time and space, and after a couple of counteroffers, negotiations broke down completely. So what now? How do we do anything without doing all the other things to first enable us to do the thing? If we just sit here and wait, which unfathomable evil will come to devour us first? (laughs) <laughs> Maybe all of them, and they'll all kill each other. Find out right now on Better Than Heroes. <laughs> ah! Thank you. Okay, uh, it's just me and Moonboy for a tiny second. Moonboy, uh, so you were present for some of these interactions, but you, IRL, the actual Jordan person, were gone. Was gone. Yes. So, um, I want to give you just a flash of a moment here. Okay. Uh, so you, you know, all of you have gone to bed here, and you know, Kai and Click don't need to sleep but you do. And so you have gone into the pickle barrel and then you hear this uh, sound of arcane energy 
which you would recognize. You know, you don't know the spell from the sound, but you just hear, hear a spell being cast. It's kind of like, whoomph. And you feel, you see Moon Girl's tiny little hands reach over the barrel and just like grab you up by the scruff of the neck. And it's, she's surprisingly strong for someone her age. Mm -hmm. Um, And she pulls you up and just out in a way in this little alcove and away from danger. And she looks you right in the eyes and she's like, don't worry about it. They've got it. They've got it. Moon Boy, I need you for it. Just got what? What? I was dreaming about going on vacation to Scotland and they had delicious pies and crisps. Well, there will never be a country where everyone's name is Scott. Listen to me. Um, Should we take a moment with that? (laughs) I'm not the comedian. (laughs) We'll blast past it. Um, She said, listen to me. I think that, I think this world is falling apart. And she says that I don't feel good about this Australian uh, 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 he's clearly very powerful. I'm, I know that. He's clearly very powerful. I can see it. My divination powers lets me see. I can see that he is a, he is a, a, a keystone, some sort of catalyst. And I don't, I don't trust it. I don't think it's a good idea, but that's not the point. The point is that I think this world is falling apart and only you, only you, listen to me, only you can... If it needs to spin away, it, it, it's just you who can do it. So I just need you to know that I, alone, me and you, I just need you to know that if this world needs to spin away, you can probably find it within yourself to spin it away. But uh, I don't know how to make that decision, and I don't think anyone can make that decision, and your friends probably won't want to make that decision this way, but I just need you to know that, that if you need to, you can. If... If... You think, do you think Australian is somehow connected to the spinning away? No, I don't. Of everything? I think, no, I don't. I just think it's a bad idea to take him to hell, especially if a demon, a devil wants it. But I. Okay. All right. We don't have much and time. If, I just know that you try. I just if know spin, that if you need spinning to know. everything away is the only way to save everyone, then we'll do it. But your friends I think won't like that. that. Your friends won't like. I that. know, I know, I know. My friends don't like a lot of the things that I do. They don't like that I, you know, eat soup with my hands, or that. Yes, it's very gross. I sleep sleep in this barrel, or that. I sometimes use their toothbrushes for various projects around the ship. But they'll they'll get used to the idea. And I still think that, you know, how many times can we do this? How many times can we keep running? I think it has to end here. We have to stop this thing. She said, she, she takes a big sigh and she's like, I don't, I truly don't know, but I know that. Uh, she said, she says, I know that circles never end and that sometimes breaking them is the way to make them and turn them into lines, straighten them out. She says, I don't know what what that means, but I worry about it. And she says, I just, I just need, I just need this time with you because I don't get it alone. And I, I I love all of your friends and I trust all of your friends, but it's me and you, Moon. It's me and you, Moon Boy. (coughs) Okay. So do you want to, do you want to hang out or? Well, and uh, you hear another magical sound. Um, ah. And then I want to cut over uh, <clears throat> to flute for just a second. Because we left you alone with slow death, if I remember Chatting correctly. Chatting with my dragon buddy. Yeah, I thought that was true. I just want to be... Sure, here. Yes, she asked the name of my devil patron, and I told her. Well, you I sure guess did. I use my character sheet for this you game. You sure ding ding did. Um, okay, cool. Uh, then I'm going to cut over to you for just a second. Boom. And you're still hanging out with Slow Death. And I will say, uh, to, to zoom out for just a tiny second, she has invited you kind of like back to her lair to hang out. Like in more in a sense of like safety in like a, you are not too far outside. You have not made it too far outside of the 
occupied palace of the Skull Goblin King that is occupied by a beholder uh, mega ship um, and slot right. and its slot armies. So, um, if, if you don't want to go with her, we can do that scene. But if you she but if you want to just like be with her in her lair, we can also do that scene. That scene. Yeah, how would we get there? Would I get a ride from her? <laughs> it's is that how I would get there? Oh, I think she would. Uh, I think she would absolutely <laughs> offer you. Dude. No, she would absolutely she no. offer you. Uh, <laughs> uh, she would lower her wing and invite you. Oh, hmm, this is a real change. A change of attitude. Can I, I do an insight roll? Is this a, a change of attitude from when I asked for the ride uh, last time I was chatting with her, and she told me basically never. Yes. Yep. You Great. absolutely can roll an insight check. <clears throat> uh, that's a 28. Um, I will say you, there was a moment where like, like when you all are together and you're having this conversation, you told her the name of the patron. She's like, she clocks this and she says, stay right here. And she disappears back into that tunnel and she leaves you alone for a second. And if you want to run or hide, you can, but she also is clearly, you can like hear her and she's coming right back. And if, if not, she'll return and give you a ride. So we're, we're kind of like doing this out of time order a little bit, but that is just giving you this opportunity. Uh, no, I'll wait, I guess. She doesn't say why she's leaving, she just leaves? Nope. Yeah, she says, when you tell her that, she's like, I need to, she's like, noted, I, I shall return. And she just kind of like, she bursts through this hole in the wall and she will like dive through it and kind of like move with this snake-like agility and, and then come back. Uh, and if you're not going to run or hide in that moment, she will come back and be like, yes, let's, uh, I will. Yeah, I will happily. I'm not gonna hide from her, but I'll hide in case anyone else comes. Sure. And okay, cool. Yeah, and, and when when she comes back, there there is a noticeable change in her demeanor. She's like, she said never before, and now she kind of shrugs this off. She's like, whatever, just get on my back, and I will I will make sure you are safe. Hmm. Very weird. Uh, yeah, I'll take her up on that offer, I guess, and go to the lair, and I'll communicate via sending stone to the rescue the would-be rescuers uh i'm uh i'm going to slow death's lair so i guess uh pick me up there <laughs> this sounds like one of those like horrible nights where you start to uh, get in the wrong car with people and you're like i'm in thornton and uh, i need someone to come pick me up <laughs> Mom, you said I could call if I drank too much. Um, yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and she, she, like, when you hang on to her wings, it is uh, a scary ride because she seems to be going through these huge tunnels that she has carved herself, but from time to time will just burst through a wall. We'll just like break through. Because you, again, you are in the underground and it's a lot of like roots and dirt. And uh, she will do plenty to make sure that you are able to hang on. She'll kind of like hold her head up and kind of like arch her neck. But she's just like drilling through this planet a little bit. Uh, and until finally you burst into these caverns that you know and recognize because you've, you've searched them. Actually, when you were lost in them before, you recognize them pretty well. They're like acidic. They're smoky. They have this very swamp-like feeling. Uh, it feels very damp and humid, but with, um, you know, kind of this like moldy acidic smell as well. And you see all of these crats, all of these crab rats just uh, like crawling around the walls, especially as she arrives, they're kind of flocking to her and like looking at her. Um, and she pulls you down and sets you next to this large green pool. And she's like, do not get in there. Right. And well, as, she, as she gets in it. So I wanted to ask, you know, you've lived quite a bit longer than anyone I think I've ever met. And do you live here in, Yes. Mid In fact, I just realm. celebrated a birthday. Oh, is that so? You're ancient now. That's true. <laughs> uh, well, con- congratulations. Uh, 
but you know, you you live here in wild space with everyone else. How do you feel about Australian being free to to uh, do whatever he wants in this realm? I do not meddle in the the goings on of infernal creatures. Is I have an infernal creature? As far as I know, I meddle in this plane. This plane is what I am invested in. I wish to help all of the planets in this world. Help them in, in what way? Continue to exist. Hmm. Well, I guess we share that same goal. Can I give, uh, can I do an insight roll on that? Absolutely, absolutely. Dirty 20. And I got a natural one. So I think that, I think she feels comfortable with you a little bit. She thinks she's holding some cards here. And so what you get off of her snide remarks here is that she wants this world to exist because she views it as her she even calls it her world for a second she's like I want you know my world to exist I want all, everything that belongs to me to remain and you know so, so she's kind of like doing this uh, speech to you a little bit about how she loves this world and wants to protect this world but it's very much like I want my children to exist. You know, she like, it, it comes off as she's like, l- almost like looking away from you and she's washing herself in this vat of like poisonous water. She's saying like, yes, I do. I am, I truly do love this world and I want it to remain. And I have heard there are many plots against it. I have heard both the fourth ring, you know, wants to view that they are going to be the protectors of this world and now that Ventress and um, you know the Bale Norn have left I uh, I don't think there are many b- folks who are powerful enough like you are to protect this world so I, I think that it's smart what you all are doing to bring back the cisterns in order to protect the you know this material plane from the undying queen I think that it's a good decision I would do it too Cool. All right. So she doesn't seem particularly concerned with Australian. No, I think I think what you get from that is she doesn't know too much about him. Uh, it's on. It's low on her list. Um, yeah. Cool. All right. Yeah. Cool. Um. Great. And then let's cut back over to the full group, which is. You know, uh, Flute, you were not with him, but um, the full group does, like, Moonboy, you, you've experienced this too. Uh, there is this, like, boom over the PA announcements of your minds. That is the psionic ringing, this psionic invasion, this telepathic announcement in your head of the Mind Flare voice that you, Aaron, and uh, Rachel, like, like, like Click and Kai experienced last episode of uh, this mind flare voice saying, we are on the same team. You know, like we, we want to bargain with you and asking you to meet them at the docks. Um, and so, yeah, Moonboy, you heard that too. And I will kind of like leave it to you rejoining the group in all of that. Uh, Moonboy, you, I mean, just to, to make sure that Jordan knows too, a uh, flute is not here with you. He has been teleported away by, uh, the yeah. very cool, beautiful frog art of the slaw that you did. Um, <laughs> but, uh, you have joined the, the crew back in this moment and Whipper is out there. The, the penguin folk, uh, her child as well. And they're kind of like hearing this and, and feeling uncertain and kind of like the whole, this whole, a very ramshackle bunch that is in this cavern tucked away in the edge of the cove of the bones is very, very much looking at you, Kai, Kai Click, and Moonboy to be like, what do we do with this psionic announcement? And so I will, I will leave it to y'all. This is, the f- this is for us the first time this has happened. 
right? Yes. Mm-hmm. And and I will also say you you can have flute's correspondence as well, saying that like you know where he is. He seems to be safe with um, slow death. Slow death. Yeah. Yeah, Moon Boy is going to run up and join you guys, looking very disheveled, like he just w- got yanked out of a barrel, and he's holding like two or three toothbrushes, and he's like, what What? Hey, what was that? Was that, Kai, was that you? I heard there was a, uh, I got a brain blast. It's the colony. They are trying to get us to give them the keys to the Astral Sea. And using, offering the uh, cove of the bones as collateral. Yep. Or hostages, more like. We can't, I mean, we were both in there. Click that. We can't do that, right? That's crazy. No. I. At the cost of. We'd give them access to everything, right? Everything. Just to. To, to all universes and all of time, everything that they've ever wanted. Like, yes, we'd have their help in this fight, but at what cost? Maybe it would, it would make them too powerful. Maybe we could double cross them. Triple I, cross? We would need, it would be hard. I don't know it how would we would It would be a very it. difficult intelligence check. <laughs> we would need. <laughs> Here's what we do. We all (laughs) leave our brains here and pack our skulls with plastic explosives. Now we're talking. Um, If... Could we get... Could we use this to get them to release the cove? Tell them that we'll agree to their terms and we'll... They release the cove. We will fight the Undying Queen. Alongside them, we stop the dark star and then we pocket sand that's a lot Mm. of sand I've thought out loud a lot of sand I've thought out loud a little bit previously about trying to deploy some kind of create some kind of unconventional weapon against the colony Uh, if there was a way to use their connection to destroy them all at once. Oh, right. Independence Day, then. Independence Day, exactly. Or decoy explosive brain, them. Also an option. The Maybe a combination the of the two. Maybe we get them to eat a poison brain. But who has a brain so poisonous that it could... <laughs> <gasps> <laughs> and we all stop and, look and say, Mitch oh. McConnell. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, the, uh, wh- wh- what's his name? Power, power face. Power face. What if they, Slow what if death? they got a, what if they got a taste of some of that big, bad beholder brain? That can't be good for anyone, right? I don't know. They've probably know. eaten a lot of bad brain. Yeah, they probably have. I feel like if anybody has tolerance for bad brain, it's mind flares. They what love if we, the bad brains. What if we... <laughs> yeah, bad brains kicks ass. I get it. Yeah, what they're if actually we, deeply homophobic. It's a bummer. But yeah, if we keep going. Uh, yeah. That's why Damn the mind it. flares love them. <laughs> <laughs> what if... Yeah, they're violently asexual fascists. <laughs> 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 what if we could give... What if we... Okay, okay. All right. Bear with me here. We give Power Face a dose of something awful, some sort of infectious brain thing. Then we trick them into eating his brain, and then they get the brain infection. I don't know what that is. LSD? I don't know. You dose them up real good. I don't know what what the... Whatever we would do to them, I don't know what it would be. Unfortunately, well, I mean, that's I think we have to start hypothetical. I think we have Does to start f- fetishizing it. I just we, can we really expect to trick all of the mind flayers, all of them? No, but that's, we could poison them. Yeah. 
but then we wouldn't have any help fighting not not even theoretically just yeah i would like if it if it were true it could it's possible who knows well it's all theoretical never (laughs) that's the secret we're making this all up Mm mm-hmm but maybe with the, the right dice rolls, it could be possible. Right, right. Figuratively, of course. <laughs> Meta alert. Meta alert. <laughs> with the, no, no, no. Bring oh, it back on the track fourth wall. The, it's tumbling down. <laughs> if the dice fall in our favor, metaphorically, it could happen. I don't know. I haven't had time to try to build anything or do anything been non-stop. So the plan you know is who would... still to get Nyx here, right? To help? Theoretically, yes. Moon Moon Girl? Is she around? Ooh. Ooh. Uh, hi! Yeah, she's kind of on one. <laughs> I'm, I'm quite sobered yeah. up. I'm just in pain. <laughs> oh? Um, have you heard from, uh, Lady Arabelle? Arabella? She takes a big sigh. Uh, yes. Um, also, just to be clear as well, uh, I, I believe we did end it in you all being able to take a long rest, right, Kai and Click? Like, so, Moonboy, yeah. you can also have taken a long rest as well. Um, so this is a little bit Lying of the morning of, um... And actually, you know, Flute, I, I will straight up give you the long rest because you went back, be, be, specifically because you went back with Slow Death and went to her den. You can have a... Because you rode a dragon. Um, yeah, that's pretty sick. And oh, I mean, I wouldn't do it unless Slow Death has somehow assured me that I won't get mind punched by Power Face. <laughs> uh, no, she would not have been able to assure you that. Um, cool. Then I would stay... Up. Actually, you know what? This is a green dragon who's doing some shit you don't know about. Uh, she does have the ability to not be divinically spied upon. Um, so she would actually, yeah, she would specifically have the ability to not be, uh, for you to not be affected by the spell. Hell so, yeah, then I'm right. snoozing. Yeah, go for it. Um, Love it. Cool. Uh, All right. Look, you know who would have a decisive take on this is Windrider. Is he here? No, oh, he's he got he got bat- towed away by the battle toads. Good uh, lord, you can't <laughs> turn your back on that guy for five seconds. No, no, he's he, uh, a real damsel. He, that one. <sighs> He'd been asleep for about ten seconds, <laughs> and Moon Girl's well, like he got kidnapped. <laughs> Moon Girl's like I I did. Uh, Nix is coming. Um, oh, oh, good. Right. Well, she's not very happy with me, but she's coming. Well, well, we'll take it. Uh, when? Well, she says, um, and she's like looking at her. She's like, look, you see her like decrepit hand move just a little bit because she has this like severed hand that is orbiting, orbiting her head along with her moon as well. And. She watching it, you see, start to like count on its fingers, huh. and she goes, "Um, now, actually." And you see this huge flash of light, and uh, standing next to you all is this very armored elven woman with black hair and like uh, in in a crew cut and like uh, kind of like pointy elven ears. Um, that's wearing this very regal armor. And standing next to her is a friend of yours. Whoa. Uh, her Talon? sister, Talon. No way. Yeah. Talon! Standing next to her Talon. as well. Um, yeah, and you see this human woman, Talon, uh, with this big old grin on her face with this little quaffed her qua, her like black quaffed hair back and her mechanical arm just kind of like whirring uh, loudly and she's kind of fidgeting with her uh, little map 
uh, magic item, uh, this like necklace that she has, like she's like swinging and she's looking at you all just so stoked to be back with you. And she's like, hey. Uh, and wow. Nyx immediately is like, looks huffy and is shaking her <laughs> head at having to be here at all. And uh, Talon is like, it is good to see you all again. Yeah, oh, it's been too long, friend. Yeah, sorry about leaving so quick. She's like, I had this. And you see, she pulls out this like very tattered, beat up book that was given to her. Um, and it looks like it's been read many a time at this point. And she's like, I had some things to take care of. I had to make sure my sister was safe. And Nick's like rolls her eyes and shakes her head. And she's like, technically, I was fine. I didn't need you to come to where I was in order for me to be safe. And she's like, I had to make sure my sister was safe. And um, did she save things. you, Lady no. Arabelle? No, no, no. She did not save me. She just showed up to where I was, and she's like, "I helped." And she's like, "No, you did not. I would. I had this under control all." Right. And they are just like talking to each other immediately, uh, almost like distracted about um, being here at all, as they are discussing events quickly and um, are just like arguing with each other. And she's like, nah, anyway, anyway, anyway. I will uh, give them both a hug. Okay. Hello. Yeah. Uh, Talon yeah, I'll get in on that back. hug. Yeah, Talon embraces you back quickly. No problem at all. Get in Let here, it. Nix. Lady Click Arabella. will offer Sorry. Nix one too many hands to shake. You can, uh, uh, Nix grabs one of the small ones. She's like, you can call me Nix. I mean, Whoa. All, 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 all formalities are aside at this point. The world is <laughs> in shambles. I don't care what you call me. Look how far we've come. The boys are back in town, so to speak. Girls, I don't know how the phrase is used. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, we're glad you're here. We sure could use your help. Town's like, I fucking bet this whole everything is falling apart. How much? Where? Where are? Tell me where you are, so I can tell you where I am and what's going on. Now I'll explain things faster than this one will. Uh, there's an army of mind flayers, and they have taken over this cove in particular, yep. but also the Skull Goblin King, as uh, a home, which is and lots overrun. Of other uh, there's yeah. a colony is everywhere right now. Uh, Beholder they, uh, called Powerface. He's after us and no, really doesn't want us to sleep. Yeah, he's um, with us. Yeah, he's, he, he's so he wants obsessed. To be our friend, it's totally embarrassing. Of, but oh, flute is missing, and with the oh. do we know that he's with Slow Death? We do. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 You, you can actually and talk to him. He has a rocky talkie, so you can communicate. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Moonboy lent me his rocky talkie. <laughs> Thank yeah. God. So he's not yeah. in. Yeah, yeah. yeah, you all can like actively now talk to him if you need to. He said he was going to get some sleep. Oh, thank God. Uh, but he's under the care of a green dragon who we have a deal with to introduce to someone that we should not introduce her to. Um, what else is going on? That's slow death, she says. Yeah, that would be that. Her. Got it, got it, got it. We are in the eye of a shit hurricane. Mm, oh, uh, there's this <laughs> elemental guy that is a real nightmare. Right. There's an elemental guy that is he's mixed up in the pact with... Flute's warlock patron, and oh like there's the we keep getting offers to side with the bad guys, but the more I'm thinking about it, the more it seems like we have everyone that we need. Look around us, we have two of the cisterns here, we have you guys, we have Talon and Nyx, we have us, the crew of the Dinger. I think. I think perhaps we are all we need, and we oh, don't. Oh, also, there's a black hole hurtling toward the universe that we have no idea how to deal with. By the way, right, 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 right. We don't even really know super weapon. that that it's a black hole, but yeah. it sounds like one. Uh, at this point, uh, too, I think um, Nix pipes up and she's like, "Oh, good. You all know about the Dark Star. That is the most important." Right. Mm. Um, Edmund Goral goes, yes, that is the most, most important. And you see Nyx, like, look at her sharply and kind of, like, uh, you know, side-eye her a bit. And Ooh. there is... Um, what is that? And 
uh, Nick, Nick comes back and she's like, good. Then you all understand what is happening right now. The world has fallen apart. It is good that Ventress has been destabilized. It is good that the Meridian Tract has... The uh, Ventress! No oh, boy. All because right. now the also, fourth ring can finally act. We can finally save this world from what it needs to be saved from. The eventual death of the Dark Star coming toward it. And how how do you propose to do that? Same question. Yes. We take everyone and get them out of here. But then you it just leave? keeps going. It just will going find to keep us. Happening. Yes. Mm. We leave the colony here. We find our own way. We just need a, a system to get, uh, you know, to save these these worlds and these places to uh, evacuate them safely. You know, we get, we the go. colony will exist wherever we go again, and the the Undying Queen will finish her eating this universe and come on to the next one. How do you know? That? We have we have because to she stop keeps it. Doing it. We have to stop it. It has to stop here. Can't we? Isn't there something we can do? Can't we use the moon shards to destabilize it? Can't we entreat the gods? Something. There has to be someone who can do something. Right. Talon looks at Nyx and is like, you all can see. You don't need to roll for it. You can see that she's like grinning and looking at Nyx and waiting to kind of like see how she responds. And... Uh, what is this? Uh, Talon is like, I told you. I told you. They can just do it. I have the way to, I can get them there. I've, you know, I, she like pulls out her little book and she's like, I've learned some, you know, I got, I didn't get kicked out of the portal rangers for no reason. And Nick oh. is like shaking her head and uh, she's like, I just don't think that is the way. I don't think that is the way of the fourth ring. I think the, the best method is to save as many lives as possible. And Talon goes, this is saving as many lives as possible. And then you see Moon Girl slaps her hand down on the ground. Uh, there's no table. So she just like slaps her hand down on the ground. <laughs> and she goes, you don't know that. You don't know that they can do it. That's the point. I believe in them and I think that they can, but you don't know. And they both look over at her and uh, Nyx, there's like a moment of silence and Nyx looks at her and she goes, strong words coming from you, an ally of the Undying Queen. And she <gasps> shakes her head and she what? goes, that's not true. That's not true. Uh, Whoa. Well, we, we can come back to that in a second. But uh, they're all just staring daggers at each other a little bit. What are you not sure that we can do? And if it's not the Stop fourth the ring's way, we're we're not we are not uh, members of your organization. I, I know, uh, she, she says. Um, Aldous has made that very clear, but Aldous is. And you are our allies, I believe. Oh, but what was Talon talking about? You said you yes, can get us there and we can do it. What do you mean by that? What, yeah, if do you, what? Yeah, if you guys have a big, juicy hunk of secret, now's the time to <laughs> plop yeah. it on the table, baby, and let us down. feast. Um, cool. I mean, and you all are kind of like sitting around in the middle, like it's been, it's very clear that the, you're given a wake here, you know, you're given some space as Whipper is, uh, Australian is over there, uh, serving with a chef, like serving up a, like breakfast for, um, the survivors of the COVID, the bones here and Whipper is like comforting folks and with her one remaining daughter and being like, yes, yeah, they're going to they're gonna help us. They're going to help us. And, um, uh, as you all are sitting in the corner, kind of like having this animated conversation and Nyx in her full plated armor. And she was like, I was on the rock of brawl. And when Brag. the, the mind flayers came in, we barely made it out. If it wasn't for some brave folks, you know, tipping us off about the subterfuge of the place, then we wouldn't have been able to save what we did of the COVID. I mean, of the rock of brawl, but um, she says, I believe that I believe that the reason the Undying Queen, the fourth, you know, the fourth ring here believes the reason the Undying Queen is coming for this world 
is that it's the last remaining holdout of the continuum that is the Mind Flayer's ability to move about time and space, to r hold on to their um, reign. They're they've always been able to play things slowly. That's why, uh, uh, you know, Ventress was wrong. We've always known Ventress was wrong in allying with them because they were just uh, able to slow play their aces because they have the ability to eventually dominate. They can see the future. That is what Moon Girl knows and that what she believes. That's why she worked with the Undying Queen is that her and the Undying Queen both believe that the Mind Flayers are going to eventually take over all that is and every time and every space. And... Uh, so she yeah. helped them, and Moon Girl's like, I did not help them. I did not help her. I just met with her, and you saw what it did to me. You saw what she did to me, and I'm the only reason I'm alive is because of you, and clearly I don't uh, help her. She's like, you helped her, and they're like yelling at each other through across the table, and, and then Talon interrupts, and she's like, I'm just saying that I can get you there. I can take you to the Undying Queen City, um, and the fastest way to the Dark Star is through the Undying Queen City. To destroy it. Uh, and Talon goes, or, I mean, she gets like this wild-ass glint in her eye that you've seen a couple of times, where it's just like, she's always down to bet big. And she's like, yes. She's like, I didn't cut my hand off for nothing. I cut my hand off or, to make sure this world continues. Arm. If, there, if there's Arm. a way to destroy it, she will know. The Undying Queen. I can't believe that she would summon this thing without having a back door for herself. I don't know that, Talon says. And Nyx is, says, exactly. You don't know that. And the moon girl goes, no one knows that. And Nobody knows anything. Yeah. And Talon, the Talon is like, but I think that. What about destroying the mind flares? Then the Undying Queen can stop can call it trying off. to destroy everything uh nixon nixon uh moon girl goes silent and talon says i think that if you want to try and negotiate with the undying queen the only way to do that is to prove that you could put some mind flayers down so if you go uh into the necropolis and you shut down the elder brain of this colony, of the colony, then you can have a conversation <coughs> where, the, uh, where, the, uh, where the Undying Queen will take you seriously. If you want to try and negotiate, take down the elder brain of the necropolis. What if we could? Mm, that sounds I mean, hard. What if we could do that? I think that's less hard than killing the Dark Star and both Nyx and... Uh, Moon Girl agree. They say that is easier than taking down the Dark Star. Yes. Could we go one shade easier? What's just above that? <laughs> uh, they look at each other and they're like, I don't know, uh, killing Power Face? And they're like, yeah, killing Power Face. What yeah, but that, does really? that actually do anything? I don't think I don't, we, they all they anything. all kind of like giggle and look at each other a little bit. They're like, I don't know if that actually does anything. Doesn't could Powerface? Could he maybe be an ally? He says he just wants to meet with us, but he keeps messing with yeah, our so dreams and stuff. And talking about possessing us for all time. Uh, real quick, right. uh, flute. It is the morning. Um, you have slept. Uh, Slow death is not keeping you here. Would you like to do anything before you leave, or do you want to try and telepat teleport back to where your friends are, or not? Uh, oh, what do you want to uh, do here in the morning? <laughs> I mean, not that I have like a friend who's a dragon. I think I'm going to leave the party that I've been playing the last three sure. years with, and just yeah. kind of now I'm just being slow death, kind of. Uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, I will say. I will say. She, <laughs> I will say, she took uh, me back to her lair. Like I, I'm. <laughs> we all, we all have these toxic friends. Slept. We all have these toxic friends. Um, nice. yeah. She, uh, she specifically too. Uh, the Kratz have fixed you breakfast, um, which is to say they have uh, found a bunch of 
things that are not poisonous and cooked them. And so you have this weird uh, conglomeration of like roots and bugs. Is it a big salad? Yeah, is it a big salad, yes, Harlan? Yes, yes, you, yeah, I was, thank you, Perfect. exactly. <laughs> that is what is happening here. Um, you have a big salad uh, that that they also, it's like it's obviously going to decay quickly, so you have to eat it quickly. Uh, because it is this very volatile amalgamation of bugs <laughs> and and plants um, that they bring to you. I'll uh, politely kind of uh, pick at it, I guess, um, and I'll ask: uh, uh, Could I use the rocky talkie and get like an ETA on the on the pickup? Is someone like on their way? Yeah, there's. I mean. <laughs> You all we sent Goliath after and, him. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It was no Goliath. Goliath didn't come, was it? It was somebody else. No, you 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 ask Goliath to tell people. Yeah. So right. Mm. So. Oh yeah. right. Yeah. Yeah. Can I uh, ask Goliath what the ETA is on the yeah. on the pickup? Uh, I don't know. I'm not. Uh, I haven't. Um, they said they were gonna send some people. I'm not uh, there anymore. I kind of <laughs> did uh, went and did my own thing for a little bit. So. Um, I know that they sent some people. <laughs> uh, right. How long ago did they send them? I don't know. I left this morning. Where did you go? I, I, you know, me and Ding went to go hang out a little bit. <laughs> oh, so it's Ding now. <laughs> yeah, what's happening? <laughs> oh, you can roll an inside check. So weird. Roll, roll an inside check. Yeah, I want to do an inside check because... What a weirdo. Uh, 14. Actually, I'm going to use my inspiration and Let's I'm going to re roll that. Nice. 17. Cool. I got a 16. So that you made, it made the difference. Uh, Ooh. He's being weird and he has no <laughs> information. And the what you can tell out of this is that he has left Jadorian. Hmm. I don't like it when people act weird after my recent visit to the Cove of the Bones. Um, Captain, where where are you? Where are you now? I went back through the tunnels. I I just like you know. It seems like me and Ding are a problem to people. So we you know we just didn't want to get in the way. We didn't want to you know. But no, no, people no. keep asking that, me to use different ships, and I just can't. I can't. I got to stay with Ding Hanidris, and it seems like Ding Hanidris is too hot. So I'm yeah, gonna go hide. It's... I'm gonna go hide him. Yeah, that's not a good idea, though. It's not. That's not safe. It's just you that and not a relic idea. and Cobble. You should go back. You should go back to Jadorian. Roll a persuasion check with disadvantage. Dang, that disadvantage got me. Um, ten. Oh, I rolled a nine. Wow, <gasps> what is happening? I swear. Wow. You have a superpower. Amazing. Um. <laughs> Battle of the shitty rolls. Mm -hmm. <laughs> In yeah, I know. It's like the o the only time I can uh, get close to succeeding is when I roll against flute. So, um. <laughs> y'all, a uh, brief interlude. Nuggets won. Oh, did they? Wow, they were so far behind. I really, I, I, I like thought for Nugs a second win. in my mind, I was like, should we cancel tonight? Uh -huh. Because like all of Denver might be watching this, and I was like, <laughs> no <Huge>. one. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Huge yeah. Dungeons I and Dragons to, uh, basketball. I hate to bring crossing. I hate to bring sports into it, yeah. but <laughs> I hate I to bring sports to this gentle should, place. There's about to be fireworks probably any second. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah, if you lose some of us, it's yeah, people are freaking out. I'm yeah. telling you, I'm <laughs> My friend tweeted. She was like, "I only knew that the Nuggets might win tonight because there were so many cops in my neighborhood tonight." So, like, <laughs> amazing. Well, um, I'm sure everyone who was watching the Nuggets play basketball will now tune in to watch yeah, us. We're about to God. get a big push. Yes, <laughs> they were our main competition. I, I had full faith that everyone who is both a Better Than Heroes fan and a De Denver Nuggets fan had two monitors where you could just watch both at the same time. So, you know. Our talk. Um, yeah, so the... You hear, like, 
Oh, can we get some hover nuggies? Hover nuggies. In, uh, <laughs> in honor of the big win. You uh you hear Goliath and kind of mumble to you a little bit, flute. And it's kinda of like, yeah, I mean, that makes sense. It's just like, you know, it's just okay. Well, it's like when your dad is apologizing to you, not well. You know what I mean? Where he's <laughs> like, Yeah, I mean, you're you're right. I think that anyway, I, I was gonna go home anyway. And uh yeah, I just, you know, I just don't want to get on another ship besides Ding Om Needers. So, uh, yeah, all right, yeah, well. you don't have to go. If someone tells you to get on another ship, Captain, just tell them no. Just tell them you're waiting for us, and just stay in, in Jadorian. All right. And uh, uh, all of you all can hear this, because the Rocky Talkies are not a private mm-hmm. line, so you can hear this conversation. Yeah. It's like, oh, wait. oh, yeah, that's true. And um, he's like, all right, well, I'll go, I'll go check it out and see what's going on. And um, is, is he still like kind on of us? weird? I know this is a big ask, and I could roll for it. Is this the kind of weird, like the weird of the cove of the bones, or is it the kind of weird of like? Uh, I think the captain had some weird drama uh, going on. Uh, or what, what is your insight modifier, flute? Eleven. It's plus eleven. Yes. All right. Uh, cool. Then. Roll, roll a d20. Or roll an insight check. <laughs> You're like making me do a skill check the old old fashioned way. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that'll be a dirty 30 if I'm adding them together because I rolled a 19. Dirty. Wow. Dirty. Not a natural 30. Yeah. Insideies. Uh, that's what I was going to, I made the DC high for this and I was like, I, I, you're going to have to roll high to get this answer. Um, this is purely emotional. This is not Kobe the Bone stuff. Uh, okay, good. I will say, because you rolled a 32, Goliathan feels very shoved aside and feels also very protective of Dinghom Nidris. To him, this is all going on. All the stuff's going on. He has kind of like deferred his power to you all. But the thing that is the most important to him in the world is protecting Dinghom Nidris and keeping Dinghom Nidris outside of like the fabric of stuff. And it seems like he's worried about Ding Hamnidris being used for something or being, and also like him being asked to like separate from Ding Hamnidris. And so like he is very, very, uh, he's being a little bit of a oversensitive dick, but for good intentions. He just like Who loves this, yeah. this helm and feels very protective. Of makes this sense. Helm. That makes yeah, sense. Yeah, yeah. Who asked uh, him to separate from Ding Hamnidris? Yeah, I'll, re- I'll reassure him and uh, like, Captain, if. If anyone is telling you to to leave the dinger to or to take Ding Omnidris somewhere, you should you should always call us right away. Call call any of us and, and we well, can help you out. It's kinda y'all. You know. What in in what way? Well, I mean like, you know all this stuff's happening. And and the ding the dinger is too high profile, and I just want to help, but I can't help. And you know I can't take the dinger anywhere now, so I just gotta sit here with it. But this is a this is a hot spot, you know. Like people could come in at any time, and and you all aren't on the dinger anymore, so it feels very vulnerable. Feels yeah, unprotected. Yeah, but we'll be back. We'll be. We just yeah, we went to the cove of the bones, and it's a whole uh, it's a whole mess now. But uh, you can always call on us, Captain. We could we could be there in in an instant. Okay, he says. Okay, all right. So you all still want to protect the dinger? Yeah, it's of course the reason that we've done. Oh, Kai, I didn't know you were here. Everything. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was using the. Yeah, the, yeah the I just channel. I just forgot because we were talking together. I know there's not a private <laughs> channel. I just forgot. We also wish that things could go back to the way they were, Goliathan, but they can't. Yeah, that's the future, ain't it? Uh, well, anyway, um, I thought you'd also want to know that uh, your buddies here have figured out a way to make. Go hatch quicker. So, oh, she's gonna hatch soon. Moon uh, boy. Well, that's yeah. good news. That. All right. 
Moonboy doesn't have a rocky talkie, but Flute, I'm, no, I'm, I'm, I'm a couple right of here. days. I'm a couple of days away from the. Um, I'm a single day away from Dorian, so I don't know. I did tell people to come pick you up, but I'm not there right now, so I can't tell you exactly when the rescue crew is going to be coming to come Wait. pick you up. All right, well, Where I'll figure you? it out. He's in the tunnels. He said, "I'm in the tunnels. I'm alone. In the tunnels with Dingham Nidris. Yeah, you took the Dinger alone into the tunnels of Garden. Yeah, and but I'm 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 being careful. No, you're not." I've got Relic here, and... and <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> he'll, be, he'll be helpful well, in Co- case Cobble's you need to shoot too. nothing. Cobble's here, too. <laughs> Cobble can help me navigate out, out of this. Uh, <laughs> God. Look, look tell, tell him that to proceed with, with the ritual and let Goat uh, be born if, if we can't make it there. That's... You know, I hate to not be there for her coming back, but she needs, you have to complete that ritual or else she'll just rot on the vine. Yeah, your stinky boys have got it, for sure. Yes, oh, my stinky sons. <laughs> oh, my putrid boys. <laughs> they know what to do. <laughs> I miss they, them. They're Please very, give they're them. really have whipped themselves up, so, yeah. Into a funk. Yes, I imagine it smells like hell down there. But give them a hug for me. Even if it stinks, oh. and uh, and a kiss. I want you to kiss them. No, I'm not gonna. Right, do on, that. right on the mouth. Nope, I'm not gonna do it. Well, my kisses then are you're my defying special. my wishes. Yep, I, I keep my kisses for uh, very special moments. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I will not. I will not. <laughs> Goliathan, I I have to ask. You kind of have going out for a pack of cigarettes voice. <laughs> I mean, I, no, I, I've got my, I got my pipe right here. I don't need to go get any cigarettes. Why? What do you mean? You're not going. You're not going to leave us, right? No, I actually specifically have recently been convinced by Flute to go back home. My man. Right. All right, you have fun. Kiss those boys. No, I'm will not do it. I reserve my kisses, my kisses. Okay, special. kiss them. Yeah. Goodbye from the moon right. boy. Uh, cool. I think with that, right. we're going to cut to break. Uh, we're gonna, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I cast cone of smooches. So, uh, but I also want <laughs> <laughs> write it up. Write it up. <laughs> cone of kiss. <laughs> cone of hold. Amazing. Mm. <laughs> Close your eyes and stick your mouth out. Come on. <laughs> um, so, Flute, you are waiting for the rescue team. You're not teleporting, right? Uh, can I decide when we come back from break? Totally. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Can I think about it? <laughs> I don't want to waste my big good spell. Hmm. All right. Uh, cool. All right. We're going to take a I five-minute also- break. We're going to drink pee, and we'll see you in just a second. You heard Bye. me. Bye. All right, Andrew, you had the time to think about it. Uh, are you? Oh, hold on. We're not. There's no volume. Uh, all right, Andrew, you best. had the time to think about it. Uh, are you teleporting back? Or are you waiting for the ship to pick you up? <laughs> what's What's insane about this decision is that it's all based on me not wanting to inconvenience an NPC who I don't even know. I just picture some <laughs> Kreen showing up in like a little ship, Hi. like. I'm supposed to pick somebody up, and they're like, "Ah, oh, yeah, you already left." It's just like, "Oh, it's, it's it's awful. It's awful." And it's not just that we like called the Air Force. Yeah, and we were like, <laughs> "We have a so, extraction." Um. Uh, if it doesn't show up uh, right away, I'm going to teleport. But I wanted to ask slow down the question as I'm sure. as I'm yeah, finishing yeah. up. I'll tell the crew uh, one way or the other. I'll see them soon. Um, and, um, 
Yeah, I'll t- is slow death are here, I assume. Oh yeah, she's not. Le- she is not taking her eyes off of you. Not like that. Not like that. I'm not interested, slow death. Look, I know things have changed between us. Um, it's just yeah. too good to be true. I'm gonna gather my. <laughs> um, <laughs> take my eyes off of you. I'm gonna. You know, gather my stuff, put on my satchel, uh, get my <laughs> sword belt, whatever. Um, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> awkward morning after. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so uh, thanks for the long rest. <laughs> <laughs> so I hear you let Jesus. Flute, here you let some, flute uh, ride you and take a long <laughs> rest in your den, in your lair. Oh, don't. don't How are those lair yeah, actions, uh, Flute? Did you guys do some lair actions? On the, on the bed oh, That's what I call God. sex, is lair, lair actions. actions. <laughs> <It's> amazing. <laughs> <laughs> you have to roll a d6 to see if they recharge. Oh, uh, yep. boy. All right. <laughs> That's it. And on and yeah, on. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and so on and so forth. Legendary resistance, etc. Oh my god. Um, <laughs> Roll a d6 uh, for refractory period. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, Is that yeah. the joke? Sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm gonna uh, ask Slow Death, like, so just, uh, not that it would change our arrangement, of course, at all, but when you do eventually meet Floreal, uh, what's... Are you just going to, to eat him? No, I'm not going to eat him. No? No. And she doesn't All respond. Right. Like, like, she's just yeah. like, I'm not... She, she says, says no. I'm not going to eat him. Okay. Um, and I'm not going to even ask for an insight roll because I don't actually, uh, Flute doesn't super care one way or the other. Um, (laughs) (laughs) uh, and I kind of don't want to know the truth. Uh, I'll just kind of nod and be like, all right, well, uh, I've told you there's a lot, uh, a lot on our plates as it is, but, uh, it's, we certainly plan on introducing you Sooner than later. She says, good. You you should go talk to them, Miss Florial, because a lot of your plans could, you know, be helped by Florials on your team. You usually win. She says, hmm. Uh, By the way, your crew is coming for you. Since you've talked to me this morning and, you know, I thought I'd tell you that some of my crats have reported to me that there are some ships boring their way toward us. Oh, great. Then I'll then I guess we can just hang out and chat in a bit till they show up. Perfect. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> uh, speaking of chatting, what are you all what is your crew going to do next? What do you think you all are? Well, the Cove of the Bones has been completely taken over by mind yeah. players, so the right colony now is we're... making great strides. I suppose. Uh, uh, so that's kind of our most pressing situation right now. Uh, and then I'm not. I'm not really sure after that. We've kind of been uh, kind of on our heels, reacting to things more than uh, proactively making plans. Would you like any help? Then. Mm. I'm sure, yeah, in, in, in what capacity? I'm very strong and very powerful. I've since, <laughs> I've grown since you've last seen me. Um, As you she said, preens right, herself a little bit right. and she's like, is there anyone, you, anyone or anything you'd like me to destroy? There's a, there's a, a list. There's probably a list. Uh, I don't know if I should make a choice like that without conferring with my group, but... Uh, <laughs> Mind flares. <laughs> you just hear <laughs> yeah. out of nowhere. Oh, I was sitting, I was sitting on the Rocky Talkie this whole time, and I guess everyone heard <laughs> everything. Yeah, I mean, 
<laughs> Certainly if you see a nautiloid, destroy it. If you see a mind flare, eat it. I'm not <laughs> just Necropolis. I'm not just going to go out into the tunnels and destroy any old nautiloid. It puts me quite at risk, but if you need, you know, as you saw, I put myself at risk for you all in the Jadorian battle. Um, I was quite right. Yeah. You were you were instrumental in that. But if, you know, that was through uh, some negotiations and I will let you go back to your team and discuss with them, but if you you know, are making big moves as your crew seems to continue to do and you need some help and you would like to negotiate about what it would take to get my help, I am happy to negotiate. Hmm. All right, well, that sounds good, I suppose. Uh, how would I contact you? Could I take a crat in my pocket or something? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Jared! Uh, I'm not knows. getting service on my crat here. <laughs> yeah. That's, they only have like one bar. I can't. <laughs> a rock in one pocket, a crat in the other. I've got a Good great Lord. plan. I can call anybody. <laughs> you hear this, this, this boost dragon? mobile. This dragon, like, near roar into nothingness, and you see this tiny little crack, like, shaking, holding a cigarette and a knife, like, walking out. <laughs> Jordan to the iPad. Yep. <laughs> Pocket crap. Pocket crap. Absolutely. Yeah. And it's just like, uh, you see it shaking, and they're like, and it's like, Jared, you're going with flute. And Jer- Jared's like, Jared. ah! And like, ma- like squeaking no, and making noises. And, uh, how fast? How fast can this crap relay a message to you? Uh, how much lead time Instantaneously, you I just have you? to kill him. Just <laughs> squash him, and I'll know. <laughs> that's the that's the signal. Yes, you, you can't you can't quite like tell me anything, but I'll know uh, that you need contact, and I'll be able to contact you then. That's an unfortunate. <laughs> uh, I wish I didn't right. know his name. Yeah. <laughs> well, he's that gonna, gonna die just anyway. Die. Smoking. I mean, a rat only lives two years, and once they start smoking, that's about an hour and a half lifespan. Yeah, so. he's just gonna die in your pocket from natural causes. <laughs> yeah. and slow death's gonna be hitting you up. Like, what is it? I got your message. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Sorry, um, pocket dial. Jared. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, totally. Oh, God, I uh, sat on him. I'm sorry. Oh, whoops. I'll take Jared uh, and, uh, yeah. Uh, he kind of, like, tries to stab you a little bit when you, when you like, reach down to pick ah, him up and slow down. Ah. It's like, no, Jared. And he, he like, uh, submits. Jared, I'm probably and never going to need to make the call. It'll just relax. Don't worry, Jared. I'll take good care of you. And make that thing a little Gundam suit. <laughs> <laughs> Next campaign is just all crats. Ugh. Cool. Uh, so with Jared in your pocket, uh, you hear Slow Death kind of like uh, perk one of her huge ass ears up, and um, she's like, uh, and you see her kind of like wave at some of the crats, and they start to like. W- weave open a side of the like dirt and vines of her wall of her domain and and while she's like laying in this vat of acidic water she gestures over to um, the wall there and she says if you go hang out in that tunnel your ship should be arriving soon I don't want to talk to them so step through so I can weave that wall back together alright well I, I do appreciate all all the help. You really got me out of a, out of a pinch. I'm a good friend. It certainly seems that way. Uh, cool. I'll walk over to the tunnel. Cool. Um, yeah, and you you can see this huge ship. Uh, that is surprising to you and it's you've never seen a ship like this because it has this huge crescent shaped front uh, and this like large cylindrical back and it looks uh, you've, you've seen a couple of these like prototypes they built but this one is like armored 
and powerful and has these like weapon, like, like clearly like these like ballistas on top of it as it's just like tearing its way through this tunnel uh, and like hitting the walls and just scraping off the sides. And you can, it looks like Cl- clicks Githka, like this very armored, well-powered version. Uh, it, it's like a tank rolling through this area <laughs> of a spell jammer ship. And it just kind of whoops in front of you and you can see a bunch of cream just like lift themselves up and off the sides and they're like uh, one of them like shoots telepathically toward you and they're like flute are you are, is it flute? right, All right, right cool. here. where your ride say, great thanks to Dorian and they, they like throw down this rope ladder uh, they uh, say, I'm actually going to the cove of the bones and uh, we need to not be seen if at all possible uh, perhaps uh, just fly by they all kind of like look at each other and they're like well that's gonna take a while and where this ship's not built for stealth yes how much how much longer would it take I kind of thought all this stuff was kind of close by (laughs) it's a few days to get there a Um, few days oh my (laughs) god You've traveled right, this look, way before, you know. Yeah. I it's been a it's been literally years. Uh I <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I'm sorry I've wasted your time. I'll I'll make my own my own way there. Okay. Uh they say um you can actually roll a history check. Hmm, that's a 2, but I'll add my modifier to it for a 5. <laughs> All right, cool. Yeah, uh, you think that like you have wasted their time, and that there is uh, what they are telling you is right, and that there it is a couple of days, and you have no other option but to either go back to Jadorian quickly and safely, or get back to where everybody get else back is. To my, yeah, my crew, my my mates. Um, uh, yeah, I'll send them on their way. I'm going to take. I don't know if this is going to help my chances of teleporting back to that cave. Man, this is. There's I'm no. So I was also no looking place at this like stuff. home, like my Bubby's cooking. I'm going to take out one of the treats that Kai made me, and I'm going to hold it in my hand, and I'm going to cast teleport, wanting to teleport back to that cave where I last saw Kai. Cool. I will give you very familiar on the teleport chart, but I will not yes. give you associated object. Oof. Yep. I'll take it. So I roll a D100. Yep. For those of you who don't know, the teleportation uh, spell is very fun because it has a built-in level of chaos with it where you can tell If you don't have a teleportation circle to somewhere, you have to roll a D100 when you teleport. And it, if you have an associated object or a permanent circle, you... Uh, you just get there automatically, but if not, you can either have uh, have it be a very familiar scene, casually viewed once, uh, have a description of it, or a false destination, and you have to roll on a D100 to find out, uh, depending <coughs> on how well you know the area, to find out if you make it there or not, because it could be a, you could be on target, you could be off target, you could be in a similar area, or it could have a mishap. So what'd you get on the D100? I haven't rolled it yet. This is the re- other reason I wanted to write. It's because I roll like utter shit and I didn't want to have and, to make this roll that on, I knew I would have to make. And on very familiar, which is what Andrew is rolling on right now, uh, as one as one to five is a mishap. A six to 13 is a similar area. 14 to 25 is off target. And 25 to 100 is on target. So you have a good chance. It's pretty that good. Means, that means nothing to me. That means <laughs> nor my horrible dice. Yes. <laughs> All right, here we go. I got a 28. <laughs> oh, Holy oh, shit. Oh, oh, Skin of your teeth. Skin of your teeth. Oh, you almost got a Philadelphia experimented. All night, <laughs> All night oh. with the w- uh. And I'm in a Best Buy yeah. in Massachusetts. <laughs> I teleport onto <laughs> Kai like a piggyback style. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think you come into Australians like stew. You know what I mean? You, oh, like, you like teleport <laughs> into the soup <laughs> pot. <laughs> and you, oh, like, God. Ruin, like Hands like, come out of the bowl. Yeah, there's, oh. like a, there's, <laughs> there's like a child like like getting poured their <laughs> soup from it. And it's just like whoomp, into it. You like <laughs> ruin it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 An Australian is so stoked. He's like, "Oh, you're back!" Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, 
You're muted, I think, Aaron. I was muted. I was saying something great. Ah, damn. <laughs> <laughs> it was all legendary. Yeah. Uh, Flute, Flute, you're back with cool. the crew now. Yeah. I was just talking yeah. about coming in just instant chaos as you <laughs> kick over the ball. Hot <laughs> soup everywhere. <laughs> screaming, writhing, and burning. Oh, oh, ah, ah, orphans blinded so with bisque. Yeah. It's a real Kramer teleportation. So. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, Lunar shards, Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> I think I can control them. All lands and mountains, Jerry. Um, cool. Yeah, I'll tell. Uh, I'll, I'll tell the crew that uh, slow death is. Uh, we've got slow death on speed dial. I'll show them the crat that I'm holding <laughs> by the nape of its neck, so it can't stab me. I think it drowned I, in the uh, soup. You just have to. Yeah, I got a little. I got a little stewed. <laughs> Clean me off, Jerry. Clean me off. You gotta be careful with that, or you'll summon a dragon to our location. Yeah. Is that my understanding? <laughs> yes. If, as soon as we Ooh. kill Jared, Slow Death knows it and will come to us. Sorry, uh, Jared. God, we have to kill him. With your life. <laughs> All right. Hmm. All right. Well. Uh, every, how how are you doing? Everything okay? You got kidnapped by toads. Right, but and then you uh, hung out with the away, dragon. Then Slow Death found me and kept me safe, and she took me. She took me to her, her lair. And whoa, how'd she take okay. you? Okay, did you ride? Did you ride her? Yeah, she let she let me fly. She let what? me fly on her That's incredible. Yeah. And you took a long rest in her Deeply lair. Deeply disrespectful, honestly. Yeah, I'm, 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 all, I'm all rested <laughs> up. <laughs> it's like asking your grandmother oh, for it, a piggyback ride. She just had, a, ride. She just had a, a birthday, too. <laughs> what would be wrong with asking your grandmother with a piggyback ride if she Grandmas could easily give you a piggyback ride? Are not cars. I mean, this and grandma's are not dragons. Grandma never weighs to be ridden. four tons <laughs> and has a 30 foot wingspan, so <laughs> she, could hand, she could take it. <laughs> Look, I'm jealous. Is is all? That's cool. That's amazing. And it was. We, she said I couldn't have a ride, and then, and then she changed her mind and gave me the ride. Sounds like you made a friend. Wow! I got to. She didn't she, eat you. A friend was, who wants you to kill vermin. She was. <laughs> she was only. She was only helpful. Hello, Jared. That's like. That's like if you could only make a call with T-Mobile. If you had to kill a bird. That is, I have that plan. <laughs> which, yeah, which sounds like uh, it could be something. It's the cheapest the one they have. They I actually can't get pay, a hold of them. Yeah, they pay you $6 a month. <laughs> you, have to pay, you have to pay for your own pigeon. Right. Yeah. Um, so you yeah, can get them uh, for free. And again, you all are in this cave, uh, at like kind of like very primally living with the survivors of Cove of the Bones. And Flute, you're back with Australian, who um, the demon, you know, the devil inside of you have said, I will free you from this contract if you take him to this this place. And you also have Whipper, the penguin folk, kind of like leaning over your shoulder. You, you hear her th- like throughout uh, when, you know, f- even when Flute is back and as breakfast has been being served here, you all are like... Um, can hear Whipper being like, yeah, they're going to save us. They're going to save my kids, and they're going to save the Cove of the Bones. They're not going to negotiate with those mind players. Just they're they're going to go down there and kill them and take the, the you know, take my kids back and heal them. And you also now have Talon and uh, Nyx here, who are, uh, like, Nyx seems to be discussing the, the logistics behind being able to heal a whole town with Whipper, like in this time period too. Mm-hmm. Like she's Hell like talking yeah. to her about like if it's possible, what it takes, et cetera, et cetera. And it's very like, y- you can tell Nix is like a little worried about it. But um, so yeah, so you have these two powerful people with you and Nix and Talon are both here and back. Um, you can talk to them you know, you can kind of like ask them more questions or hang out with them. Like Nix is comes over to you flute. I mean, uh, Talon comes over to you flute and is kind of like, uh, you know, hits you on the shoulder a little too hard with her mechanical arm and is like being like, uh, what's up? I'm back buddy. You know? And, uh, oh. 
Yeah, but you all are hanging out here, and uh, again, like ev- even in this chaos, um, and even with Nix and Talon being back here, you can ask them what they think they you all should do if you want to. But they're everyone is still kind of looking to you. I think. Mm-hmm. Well, if we could make a plan, <laughs> Slow Death said she'd she'd help out with it. Really? Here? I, she, I mean, she seemed pretty open to however we wanted the help. Interesting. I think we'd have to negotiate some kind of deal, but, I mean, she was pretty helpful to battle of Jadorian. She sure was. Do you think with her help and Talon and, and Nyx that we could take on the Mind Flayers here? Start showing the Undying Queen that maybe we can clean up our own trash? Are they, are they, is this where they all are? Is this, if we assault no. the cove, cove of Bones, then maybe we should just take it straight to the, straight to the brain hive, you know? Well, if we can't take care of the Cove of the Bones, then of course we can't take care of the Skull Goblin King Castle. It's, we need to eventually get there, but I, I, I can't imagine leaving this place without trying to help. Can you imagine the look on Whipper's face? Yeah, yeah, she'd be all tentacly. <laughs> yeah. um, that's the just brain her in her mouth. Right. All right. Cove of the bones it is. I think we have... Of the many pressing matters, this is one. But what about... Uh, flutes situation? Fl- Right. Well, now, we could have solved the cover of the bones first, then deal with that after. What about him? I'll say in sort of gesture towards Oxtrillian. Well, he maybe he could be handy. Burn. He could probably help. But didn't he say his fire can never be extinguished? So, look, man, might this not really be great for the future of the town. There's always to going that. to be paths unwalked. We just need to pick one and walk it. And I agree. even if that means that we start some unstoppable fires. Uh, Australian. Yo, I he think says. he's being. What's good? What's good? We we're just talking What's about. <laughs> uh, hey, <laughs> hey, we're just talking about uh, next steps. Uh, we had some questions. So yeah. you mentioned that your fire can never be extinguished. Yeah, it's Did you uh, mean that an ancient literally? gift that I have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Once it it, it it burns, it never goes out. And that's all fire that you set. Oh, yeah. All of it. In fact, I would no. say I've set two fires since being freed. One of them on uh, the place that you found me to burn myself out of that pod, and the other one. Uh, to entertain myself uh, in that room above the bakery. And so both of those fires are probably still going. So you set the cove on fire? I just have just a tiny little part of it. I, it was inside of a stove, too. So it's probably pretty well contained. All right. What about what kind of a fa- do, you, do you ever use your fire in like? <laughs> oh, good. What's the question? I'm sorry, I'm confused. No, it's fine. Do you ever use your fire, like, in battle? Oh, yeah. Yes. You probably do. Absolutely. Yes, yes, yes. So if, yeah, you yeah. Were to, if you were to do a big fight in, like, a town, would that town be on fire forever? Yeah. Yes. It yeah. Would, wouldn't that be great? Yeah. Depends on the town, really. <coughs> I mean, I, I can put it out, too. Oh. oh, you can oh, you can well, choose to put it out. Oh, yeah, so. it doesn't have to burn forever. No, it doesn't. Have, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He says, but would I mean, you like, put it out? Of course. I narrow. Is he telling the truth? <laughs> <laughs> sure, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, can I? Yep. Mm. Mm. Boy, I don't mm. know. Nine. I crit. I critically failed. I got a fifteen. 
Ooh, a big five. We have no idea. No, I mean, <laughs> he's a responsible fire user. He understands. He understand. He's a very powerful being that has lived here for a long time, or like been alive for a long time, and he understands that his power, like his fire, will burn forever. And you've heard his monologues before about how. Uh, he he believes that fire is necessary for nature. He believes that it's important for chaos to be entered, uh, for fire to enter into the world as chaos, so that things could grow and change and not get too stagnant. So you believe that he, um, with with the highest role there, you believe that he would turn the fire off if necessary. I believe him, and I want to keep him. I say, we keep him. For now, he's right, Quind Rider? <laughs> he's been very good. He would really enjoy it. All right. I, I do listen. want to burn more things. If you, I, I want to burn this down well, to the ground after hearing about stick it. Stick with us, and if you're, if you're responsible about it, we'll give you so much to burn. We'll give you some burning pri- privileges, and we'll see how you do. I can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Hmm. All right. All well, right. What do you Let's say? Let's do it. A uh, cove of bones. What is what? Uh, I yeah. I would like to go to the cove of the bones and see if we can save these people. A big question is: What does Nix need? Right. To get this big stuff? question. Yeah, their brains oh. have been take have been replaced with these creatures. I mean, uh, what N- can Nyx, need, Nyx needs a long period of time, so she can't like mm-hmm. go in there and heal people. <laughs> she would need like, um, you know, days and like, like like a month plus of like just being able to slowly heal people. Because and and she would she would know too. She would describe. She would tell you that like in in a of hours, go in there and they eat all the thoughts of a being. But those like thoughts can be brought back but it just takes a very she like the magic it takes to do that she can only heal one person at a time for you know a slow period of time so to heal a whole and town so, she would need to stay here and kind of like set up a temple and set up residence and, and do but it but like oh. okay is that feasible because if if we go in and we kill the mind flares that are there or make them run away or beat them or whatever and then we just have a town full of intellect devourers who will let us heal them? Or will well, they be continuing no, to mean, turn each other into mind flares? I mean, uh, N- Talon kind of like jumps in here. She's like, no, no, no. Look, I, I think what, m- what my plan would be is that we go in there and we kill all of the mind flares that are there. And the intellect yeah. devourers, we can slowly knock out one by one. They will be afraid. They will be, you know, like we can pop them, you know, piece by piece. We have this whole crew. We have us. Like as long as we can beat their central source of power, we can take out the town one by one. And then we have their bodies and we might lose some casualties. And Whipper like shakes her head and looks a little horrified. And Nix is like, Ugh. and Nix interrupts. And she's like, no, I mean, I, I, like I, it is true. I would need for there to be no threats to the town I would need their, the best case scenario is we get their the t- whole towns, uh, we get a town of empty husks and we defeat all of the intellect of ours that are in the town and we, you know, we get them to flee in some way and we have their empty husks and I can take care of them for a, wh- a while. And Whipper's like, but my kids, they could die in the process. And you know, so it's, it's contentious. Like there's, there's not a way to like, there's not a blanket way to just like do it is what you're getting kind of like from this conversation. Is there is there a way to make the mind flayers tell the intellect of ours to leave? Can they can they undo what they did? Mm, not they all, us helping them. They offered that. All of them sigh. All three of them, and they're like, "We don't know. We don't understand." Oh, they offered they offered that for the truce. Mm. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the they mind offered fl- that, but they uh, at their price was too high. So they yeah. can. So maybe we could just find the local mind flares and make them do it. Would I they? I suppose we could try. They don't really. That can be our first plan, and our backup plan yeah. is kill them, because that's kill... a plan also. Well, if we, if we, we kill, kill the them mind after flares we make them do yeah. it anyway. Here, but... would 
the people would, the people would still be intellect devourers. They wouldn't stop having their intellects devoured. I mean, this yeah. is all. Uh, I, I just if, if I don't know. What Nix needs is time. Then we can give her that. We just need to make the cove safe. We establish. Would it be a, safe, filled with intellect devourers and no mind flares? It would, it would be, be safer than it currently is. Whippers, like we're probably gonna like like they, they, the intellect devourers have control of every person that they're inside of. So like, I we mean, just have to abduct people one by one and take the, them back into the hills. If we can seize control of the cove of the bones, then we can leave these theseans here to do, to take care of that and we'll go to the source of the cavity. We'll kill the big brain and maybe, I don't know, does anybody know from mind flayer physiology, if we kill mother brain, will everybody's brains go back to being regular brains? You see moon girls, the the little moon that is orbiting her head glows bright and you see her look down and she throws something on the ground what looks like just junk it's just like pieces of like like bone and stone and leaves and she looks down at it and she looks back at you moon, moon boy and there's a little bit of a glint of her in her eye uh, this like bright white glint that you just see for a second she says if you can defeat if you can defeat the necropolis in, oh excuse me the cycle Cy- Acropolis. You can defeat oh. the Cycropolis. And everything will fall here. Those brains will turn to worms, and they will shrivel up and die in the sun. Here. Here yes. they will. Yes, I know that then, for sure. I can well, see the path. Skip, skip to the... Don't we just skip that. the Cove of the Bones? The they spend a f- couple of weeks... As brain monsters, they have a freaky brain time down there doing whatever, and then, you know, they get maybe they get another chance if we succeed, and then we we'll take them all out in one fell swoop, and then we can, then we take our bargaining chit to the Undying Queen and show her that we mean business. Maybe we'll have like a necklace with brains on it or something. Mm-hmm. Gross. I mean, right. delicious. Yeah. They have Just those to like remind brew, that brew tours in uh, Tudorian. <laughs> the mind flayers are battling the Undying Queen, right? They're like the <laughs> main there's opposition. No, there's yeah. nothing more clear in this game. Yeah. The mind flayers <laughs> are opposed to the Undying Queen. Cool. Yes. Well, I missed that specific no, session. No, no, so. I, I, I know, but I, 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 I'm not yeah. saying that to make fun of you. I'm saying that to be very, very clear. Is that if there are. Yeah. There's a lot of stuff because, because there okay. is a lot of stuff that's like floating around of like who is opposed to who. And the thing that is very, very clear is that the mind flayers and the undying queen, the colony and the undying queen are on different sides. Yeah. Right. Cool. But I mean, yeah, trying I'll to destroy play. the last reality that mind flayers could spread from, like, I'm not saying it's good or that I want to do that, but like, I kind of get it because they really stink. Yes, but removing the Undying Queen's main enemy, then that all that stands in her way is us. Right. Yeah, well, the only thing that stands in her way now is basically us. It's not like we're on the same side as the Mind Flayers. Right, I mean, her plan isn't going to... The Mind Flayers won't even be a problem. I bet we could do it. We've beaten Mind Flayers before. The enemy... We've got the four of us. We've never been stronger. It's true. And we could call in slow death. And ox trillion. And Talon clears her and, throat. And Talon. And yeah. Nyx. And Talon. And, and Moon Boy I've holds gotten, up. I got some more tricks up my sleeve, she says, as her mechanical arm, like, <laughs> readjusts itself uh, in a similar way that Kai's, and like, my arms. And Laloon. Yeah. And, and Moon Boy holds axe. up his little token that summons his hat, and he says, and my hat. There you yes. Go. <laughs> yeah, let's just find a vent in the Psychopolis and empty your hat into it. Yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> Kill the fire place in the flood of creatures. I do wish we could ask the moon about this. So do I. All right. Well, this does seem like the easiest way to save everyone here in the Cove of the Bones. It's true. As quickly as possible. 
Where is the Cycropolis? Do we know that? It's at the the Skull Goblin King Palace, right? Oh, no. No. No, that's it's not Janice's that one? Thr- that's Janice's throne. What yeah, different, so different place. Throne Cycropolis. <laughs> yeah, the Cycropolis <laughs> is a place you've never heard of before this session, I believe. And, oh. Um, no. But Talon and Nick specifically know where it is. And it is on... Uh, they, they would tell you it's on Glyph. They say it together at the same time. They're like, it is mm. on Glyph. Where this all started. In there. Do you think... Yeah. No. I mean, how Surely. fortified is it? Uh, mm. They're like, none of us know. You can't penetrate the... Circum- uh, you know, the, the perimeter of it with any spells. You can't see it until you walk into it. And Nyx is like, I've walked up to it um, and it is a horrible place you can hear it inside of your heart from far away what, and what kind of shield is it is it like a some kind of barrier yes there is a psionic bubble across it all there it is it is built of souls and minds that have been tortured and consumed and all of their energy has been put into deflecting anything being able to be perceived inside of it. It is a castle made of flesh and thoughts. You're you're muted again, Aaron. (laughs) Aaron, you're muted. I was saying such good stuff again. I know, it looked looked so (laughs) definitive. You can tell. I was saying, why would anyone make a castle that way? It's so (laughs) ridiculous. It's so extra. (laughs) <laughs> I love it. Preposterous. Hey, I mean, because they are nothing like weak us. weak spots? Does it have any weak spots? Uh, Nix and Talon both look at each other, and they say, you know, you know of the only, the only back door that I know of, Nix says. And Talon is like, God damn it, I hate it when you are right. And uh, Nix is like, the only back door I know of is the place that I sent you to before. Floriel's old workshop. Sh- the mm. shut down door. Which right. one? Well, that's the corridors start. or are you talking know. about? I don't, the... I don't know what that is. And Nix is like, I told you what that is. And uh, er, Talon's like, I told you what that is. And Nix is like, I, 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 I don't care about your fantasies. He's like, no, no, no. The workshop that I sent you to before. The way you moved from Glyth to uh, the Moon of Garden to Grandchild. The, the shortcut you took. Um, the the broken workshop of Flor, Where I sent you. Did we go there? <laughs> God. I don't you, remember. You did. You, you, I don't remember that. Uh, our, our boy, um, <coughs> our Lost in Space boy... Um, oh, that place. oh, that was the workshop. Yeah, yeah. I don't think you've heard it described in this way before, but Nix would describe it to you this way now. Um, that laboratory. Yeah. Right. It wasn't that where where the sinker was born. Where you, right, where you sank the nautiloid. Outside of right. it, yes, yeah, and you found the ah, yeah the Kuatoa, okay. and then where where one of a couple of the Kuatoa fell into the abyss, crossing yes, 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 a, a chasm. Okay. Yeah. That was a, a while ago, but now I remember. Do we know how? Do we know anything about the the shield? How it's powered? We could we could use magic on a mind flare and have them shut it off. Uh, it is. There are many, if you, if you could capture a mind flayer who was powerful, you might be able to uh, find a pathway in. Yes. You know, they could. We've done it, we've done it once before. So what maybe. happened to that one guy? A Soto? Yeah. Uh, uh, flute, uh, flute uh, slaughtered uh, him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of like. <clears throat> oh, that's right. Uh, he, I remember. He died in. Uh, mm. It's almost like I had a player for this a long time ago and gave you all an yeah. asset that you could maybe use in the future, yeah. but you didn't. <laughs> but you murdered him Instead, in his murder we, face. 
started an intergalactic war. How about that yeah. instead? Um, they had it coming. Mm. They said there are Sotos out there. We could we could grab one. Yeah, one of the lesser Sotos. One of his relatives. <laughs> uh, as you all are making this plan, you hear again. Uh, I wish Jason was here tonight because uh, throughout all, he made such good noises last time. Maybe I'll put them in in post. Is that you hear this like ringing throughout all of your minds? Oh no. As uh, this sort of like mind flare announcement system like connects with all of your the mental thoughts of everyone in this room. You can see it in their eyes. Even Nixon, uh, Talon now are like, oh, shaking their heads. It's very uncomfortable. And you just hear, we want to help you. We will negotiate. Meet us at the dock. Talk. Let us through the door. Let us solve your problems. We can be in harmony together. And I think that's where we're going to end tonight's session, is you all knowing uh, that there, there are mind flayers down at the dock of the Cove of the Bones that who you can speak with if you would like to, that they are inviting you there. You all know that there is a back door through the Cycropolis in the... Um, uh, the abandoned laboratory that you all have been in before and you all know that if you could uh, somehow capture a powerful mind flare uh, you all might be able to maybe Trojan horse yourself uh, into the Cycropolis as well as it seems like defeating mm. the mind flare threat here is a priority for your party over maybe you know meeting the undying queen head on or negotiating with power face etc cetera, etc cetera. so um, that's just kind of what I'm throwing out uh, with what you all have said tonight, but this is this we year's a good s- session. I'm very stoked on this. You all have a a, this is, you all have, have a fucking plan. I love it. Yeah, we we have a pl- uh, plans. We have <laughs> more of a plan than we've had before. Yeah. Yes, it's true. That's good. This is true, and it involves something of a genocide. But look, <laughs> we have <They> a plan. <laughs> are bad. Which they has never eat the brains been out of the people. logic used to justify a genocide before. <laughs> I was going to say, I think yeah. that's a new justification. But I've never heard of it. They are bad. Mm. They're, hurting, they're hurting us as a people. Yeah, yeah. They're the reason yeah. the economy brains. is hurting. <laughs> they want yeah. to eat your brains. Okay. Oh, God. Um, they're pretty bad. <laughs> They're pretty bad. In, in, in fantasy terms, this is a great session. Uh, thank you all. Um, good hanging out. It, 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 I'm I'm excited. I feel like there there is a ball rolling, and I'm worried and excited. Things are happening. So, yeah. Uh, just a reminder too, we we do have a Patreon uh, that if you like this game, uh, we've been going for three years, and your support has actually uh, kept us going, made it, uh, uh, this game be able to continue. We truly would not be able to pay the bills if you all didn't um, you know, support us in the ways that you can, either by telling your friends or monetarily. And I will remind folks too that there are uh, better than he- uh, later than heroes episodes up on our Patreon. If you're a ten dollar or above Patreon member, uh, we talk about the show after the show. And our last week's episode was just me and Jason talking about how Jason's soundtrack soundtrack affects the game and how he kind of is like thinking about the game and how his music. Uh, like how he's like thinking about how he participates in the game with his music. It's it's a very very good episode if you want to check it. it out there and support us in that way. So, um, yeah. Anything else before we go? Love you. We love you. Yeah. you. There's other fun Thanks for uh, watching. stuff go on nuggets. Patreon. Yeah, there's yeah there's one more spot in our uh, Repos game which I heard was really good this week. Repos and Leads was yeah. very fun yesterday. They Colin told us that he got turned into a gigantic shark and it ruled. He yeah, he got turned into a shark. Giant Hell shark. Yeah. Shark monk. That's also, what you want. Thank you for the raid from a Dia shunk. TV Podcast. Yeah. yeah. If you're still Shall we raid it forward? For chilling. Sure, yeah, let's do it. Yeah, let's do it. We love you. We hope you are happy and good night. <laughs> Good night. Oh, oh, uh I made a uh, while I'm setting up the raid here, I made new um I made new uh credits that are updated because uh, one of the things about our our uh 
best friend tier on our Patreon is that you get your name in the credits. So we updated that to add our uh, second oh, fun. Uh, best tier member. Mm-hmm. And also just to update a couple of uh, folks that are helping us and doing stuff with us. So Heck check yeah. that out. And we're going to raid over to Q Times. Uh, very nice folks yeah. that have raided us a couple of times before. So go, go say hello. Whoop, say hello whoop, in chat whoop. there. It, it helps us for you all to hang out and just say hi to them. So we're gonna, I'm going to start that now. And uh, but first, I'm gonna play these new credits. We'll see y'all next week. Bye. We love you. Bye. Stargazer, Moon Boy, Click the Crusher, Kai, Amelia, Chef, and the Wind Rider Flute, Wim Teaser. They're better than heroes.